Seven suicides in three years. According to Northern Territory unions, they were all fly-in, fly-out workers on Darwin's $34 billion Inpex Ichthys LNG project. We've had seven reported to us, so um, there's only been one in the camp, but uh, uh, we, we know that seven of the workers from that side have um, taken their own lives. At its peak, up to 8,000 people are employed on the Impex project, with FIFO workers staying at a 3,500 bed camp on the outskirts of Darwin. 40-year-old Shane works on a four-week-on, one-week-off roster. When someone does take their life, it has a devastating effect on our community, um, within the FIFO community, because it's a small community and when we're away from home, they're our family. They're our brothers and sisters. A recent parliamentary inquiry in Western Australia found about 30% of FIFO workers had mental health problems, 10% higher than the national average. For Shane, long rosters, constantly shifting rooms and poor phone and internet reception make the lifestyle more difficult than it has to be. I'm away from home more than I am um, at home, so it has an impact on my family, my wife, um, people around me, my community. The unions want a FIFO code of practice similar to one recommended for Western Australia to address rostering, fatigue and risks to mental health. To me this shouldn't be happening, it can be stopped and all we can do when we talk to those people like that is refer them off to help but that's doing something after the problem has occurred. Inpex has confirmed one of its workers was found dead on site in July, but says when workers die off site, it's not advised about the cause of death. In a statement, the company said it was looking for ways to ensure a healthy and safe work environment. But the unions and mental health experts who've had dealings with the company are sceptical. It's really very challenging to get management to commit to a long-term sustainable program. Um, I think many of them think that mental health is a quick fix. I really have a big fear of that we are, we will see more construction workers taking their lives and that's not good enough. We need to do something to stop it. The Northern Territory Government has been contacted for comment. Felicity James, ABC News. And if this story has triggered feelings of anxiety or depression, you can phone Lifeline on 13 11 14.